Salute to Hoops guys, welcome back to the channel. Another day, another video, and you know what it is, another day in this crazy hobby of ours. And yesterday just goes to show you how crazy the hobby is. Uh, I let the dust settle a little bit. Uh, and we're talking about this man right here guys, LaMelo Ball. He is out for the season. Fractured hand. Didn't get to watch the game. I'm not too sure how it happened. Uh, but we all know what injuries do in this hobby. They affect the market greatly. Now, LeBron James got injured too, but uh, I'm pretty sure that that is not going to affect his market value really uh, because he's pretty much solidified himself uh, time and time again in the the basketball world so we're gonna be focusing on Lamelo ball at least for a, a short portion of this video and then we're gonna rip some nba hoops holiday boom uh but i wanted to talk about this for a little bit guys uh, like i said i wanted to let, let let the dust settle as this just happened last night uh before we get into it uh if you haven't done so uh, if you could subscribe to the channel please we are at 159 subs at the salute to hoops channel so we are definitely growing steadily Exciting to see you. Love it. If you guys love it too, hit the subscribe button. Shameless plug inserted. All right. So uh, LaMelo Ball injured himself last night, uh, unfortunately. All right. Uh, I think that the good thing about it, though, if there's a silver lining, is that it's just his hand. Uh, we're not talking about, you know, him blowing out his knee, tearing his ankle up, or his, like Achilles tendon or anything like that. Uh, it's just his hand. Could affect the shooting, obviously. I don't even know if it's on his shooting hand or not, to be honest with you. Um, I was at work all day yesterday, and I'm making this video this morning, so uh, it's just kind of on a whim. But uh, what will that do to LaMelo Ball's card prices? They're inevitably going to go down. We all know it. Um, and we have Anthony Edwards here, guys. Boom. Uh, and he's in the video because... Uh, in my opinion, his card prices were already on the rise. I think we all know this. He had a pretty solid few games there in Minnesota. Um, had that, had a few nice dunks. You know, he's showing that he's he's a number one kind of guy. So, uh, in my opinion, all right, Lamelo Ball's prices are inevitably inevitably going to go down. We're not going to hear from him for another year. Uh, and Anthony Edwards. Card prices are obviously going to go probably up even more than what they already were. Uh, seeing as how he's going to be the uh, the only guy we're going to be actually seeing now uh, between the two. I think that the real unfortunate uh, quote-unquote losers, I guess you could say, uh, in the deal are going to be uh, whoever bought those LaMelo Ball PSA 10 uh, NBA hoops for like 2000 bucks. Now... Uh, the thing is, I've been saying it for a while now, guys. Obviously, the basketball market, uh, the card market is a bubble. Uh, the bubble is inevitably, inevitably going to burst at some point. So, uh, if it's still going by next season, you know, the guys uh, that put a lot of money into LaMelo probably aren't going to lose a whole lot. Uh, but, you know, Corona's starting to ease up a little bit. There's been a lot of people that say that. The corona has a lot to do with the card market. So if life gets back together in the summer or so, uh, we already see card prices fall in the off season, especially with the basketball. Uh, if you're around last season, you know this. So uh, if life kind of gets back to normal, uh, I think that the uh, those guys might take kind of a heavy loss on, on those those PSA 10 uh, Lamellos that they bought. Uh, I think it was, it was all over Instagram and all over like Reddit and stuff a couple weeks ago. Uh, but in the short term right now, uh, I think LaMelo Ball prices will fall not dramatically. You know, that can be like a dollar or anything like that. Like I said, it's just his hand. It's not like a devastating injury. Uh, but uh, direct correlation here. Um, I didn't major in like economics or anything like that. Uh, but Anthony Edwards prices were already going up to begin with. And now that we're not seeing LaMelo Ball at all and we're not going to see him for a year, I think that we'll see... Uh, Anthony Edwards' prices continue uh, to rise uh, now that he's essentially the only one from the draft class. A uh, hyped-up prospect. James Wiseman was hyped up, too. Uh, he's doing his thing over there in Golden State. Uh, but between these two, 
Uh, Anthony Edwards was obviously getting hyped up uh, a little bit uh, this past couple weeks or so uh, with his car prices. So just my opinion, guys, uh, if you're looking for an opinion. If you're not, that's cool too. I'm uh, not trying to dissuade anyone from investing. If you're a LaMelo Ball fan, go for it. Like I said, I think he's going to come back probably better than ever or, the, or at least somewhat improved uh, because it's just his hand. So if you're a LaMelo Ball investor, do what you want to do. Uh, but uh, just my opinion, they'll probably fall right now, which is probably a good thing for you um, just to kind of pick them up on the dip. And uh, as the season continues, uh, we'll probably see uh, Anthony Edwards start to climb a little bit higher. Moving on, guys. Boom. Let's get into, now that we've done a little bit of uh, investing news and tips and and whatnot, get into a little rip session here. Don't want to make the video super, super long for you, uh, but uh, see if we can pull pull some heat in these this NBA Hoops holiday pack. Uh, Kyle Kuzma, we got Kyrie Irvin. Uh, Hernan Gomez, Kevin Herter, Anthony Simons. Oh, nice. There we go. Oh, that would have been dope if that was LaMelo. Honestly, that would have been like, that would have been really good. <laughs> the LeBron slam insert. That is nice. And Tyrese Halliburton will take that too. That would have, honestly, that would have been ironic. And uh, I think it would have been like one of those like, premonition type deals where if you're a lamello ball fan and you're investing in him that would have probably like subtly said that he's gonna be just fine <laughs> gallinari we got dylan brooks nice slam insert shack hollow definitely take that did we get a banger box here xavier tillman and robert woodard Nice little early morning rip sesh. Some early morning card news. Like, this is nice. I might have to start doing this more often. Uh, Reggie Jackson, Bogdanovich, Thomas Bryant. Little Luca vanity plate. And there he is right there, guys. Little LaMelo ball. So, if you... I mean, take it as a sign, guys. If you're a LaMelo investor, there we go. I think he's going to be just fine. Don't want to open the uh, relic card too early here. I usually like to save that for last. Dante DiVincenzo, Porter, Jimmy Butler, Will Barton, Andre Drummond. There we go. Anthony Edwards. Okay. Malachi Flynn and Daniel Oturo. This is actually a nice little box we got here, guys. Good news all around, looks like. Pashal, Danny Green, Pascal Siakam, where the heck has he been? Lonnie Walker, DeAndre Ayton, Clay Aiken, Clay Aiken, good God. Clay Thompson, excuse me. Uh, American Idol, Clay Aiken, if uh, anyone doesn't know who that is. Malik Beasley, Mitchell Robinson. Carmelo Anthony, Devontae Graham. Probably going to see more minutes from him now that LaMelo's injured. Steven Adams, Tatum Vanity Plates. Quickly, and Anthony Edwards. Okay. Relic card right here, guys. I can feel it. We'll open that for last. Save that for last, excuse me. This has actually been a really, uh, really solid box so far. Marcus Morris, Lillard. Joe Ingles, Bertans, Bam, Kawhi, Lights, Camera, Action, Theo Meldon, Cole Anthony, right? Kobe White, second year. I'm putting that over here because I am a Bulls fan. Love Kobe White. Shake Milton, Michael Porter, Colin Sexton. Zach Levine, purple, that's nice. Josh Green, and Killian Hayes. It's been a banger box, dude. I kind of am really looking forward to this relic. It's just a sweater relic because it's the Hoops holiday, but Josh Okogi, Marvin Bagley, Cam Johnson, TJ Warren, Zion 
frequent flyers. We'll take that. Aaron Neesmith and Obi Toppin. Wow. Kevin Knox. Tim Hardaway Jr. Drew Holiday. Cody Zeller. Darius Baisley, my guy. Buddy Heald. Tyrese Maxey. And Desmond Bain. All right. So far, so good, guys. So we're getting to the relic card here. The Hoops Holiday. So it's going to be one of those little sweater gimmicky type things. Dwight Powell. Derek Favors. Marcus Smart. Don't want to reveal it too quickly there. Tyler Bay. Sadiq Bay. What if they did that on purpose? Tracy McGrady. Slam. All right. You guys can hear my dog in the background barking. I don't know what he's barking at. Jaron Jackson Jr. And Xavier Tillman sweater. All right, cool. It's such a banger box. I thought it was going to be one of those top guys, but I'll take Xavier Tillman. And we got like the sparkle type on the, the sweater there. Definitely pretty, pretty cool. All right, let's go over the rookies slash hits guys real quick. Not too long of a video here, so I want to keep it that way. We got Tracy McGrady slam insert. Tyrese Maxey, a little Desmond Bain, Aaron Neesmith, Obi Toppin, Zion, Frequent Flyers, Killian Hayes, Josh Green, Kobe White, second year, Theo Meldon, Cole Anthony, Emmanuel Quickly, Anthony Edwards, Trey Jones, Malachi Flynn, Daniel Oturo, another Anthony Edwards, Azubuki, Lamelo. It's actually the first Lamello I've pulled. Uh, I have like a total, this is like my fourth one, I think, but my girlfriend pulled all three of them that I have. Uh, Luca Vanity Plates, Xavier Tillman, Robert Woodard, Shaq Slam Hollow, super dope there. Tyrese Halliburton, the LeBron Slam, awesome card. Love the red, white, and blue on it. Sadiq Bey and Tyler Bey. So there we go, guys. Not a bad rip at all. And a pretty successful video, in my opinion. So going to close it out here, guys. Got a couple more videos on the way. Uh, went to a, a, an LCS down in Illinois this past weekend and picked up some pretty cool stuff. Uh, so I can't wait to show you guys what I picked up there. Uh, but other than that, guys, don't let the injuries dissuade you from who you like. I'm going to leave you guys with that. Follow me on Instagram. Have a good one, guys. Thank you for supporting the channel, and I'll see you next time.